Plus, lawmakers are now one step closer to legalizing marijuana in New Mexico. Also, it's a stretch of road in the metro with more crashes than any other. Local reporting you can trust. You're watching KRQE News 13 at 530. Good evening. Closures are routine on the interstates in Albuquerque from crash after crash. We wanted to know the worst trouble spots, so we obtained crash data for each mile of I-40 and I-25 in the city. News 13's Francesca Washington shows you the most dangerous spots. Francesca? Dean, this mile stretch of I-40 between Carlisle and University is the worst crash zone of them all. And like the other spots, they have common problems. Drivers eager to get on and off the big eye. It's really nerve wracking. Quickly. Especially trying to get onto the freeway, you're trying to merge on and then everybody's trying to merge off. You just have like maybe 200 feet to do it. From I-25. Out by Cesar Chavez where there's just a lot of traffic. It's very congested. To I-40. 4th Street on I-40, Rio Grande, Coors. State Police spokesperson Ray Wilson says he's seen some close calls. I do see people coming onto the interstate, changing two or three lanes, getting back over two or three lanes, you know, just basically driving careless and recklessly. In 2017, there were 192 crashes in the mile stretch between Carlisle and San Mateo, and more than 300 in the two mile stretch between 4th Street and Rio Grande. Often those crashes shut down the freeway for hours. When people are speeding and someone's trying to merge, it's almost impossible for them to merge over because someone is speeding. Drivers say they have learned to adjust to the chaotic road conditions. It's definitely pretty stressful, but I can also count on like adding 30 minutes or so onto my commute on the way home every day just because of that. Drivers in New Mexico aren't the best, but as well as like, I think the, the big eye and, and the setup there um, has kind of been neglected. Drivers we talk to would like to see improvements to make the road safer. I think we should reconfigure the highway, especially like right around the Big Eye and just immediately to the west of that. Wilson says the highway setup is only part of the problem and it's important for drivers to not drive distracted or too close. Dean, back to you. All right, Francesca, thank you.